I like to give all glory and praise and honor to the Most High. And today, what we're gonna be looking at is the uh, the lineage of President Obama. And I know that we're not supposed to judge according to their parents. You know, that's what the Scripture says. It says, "Judge according to righteous judgment." But you know, the powers that be, you know, our enemies, I should say, they understand the table of nations. You know, and you know, we lost knowledge of that, or we don't. Have, I would say we don't have understanding of it. And, you know, that's why they like to lump all black people into one category. But, you know, we we all had different bloodlines, different histories, you know, things of that nature. You know, we all don't come from the same, you know, ethnic groups, the same tribes and things like that. Even though a lot of us, we have the same the same skin color. You know, we're not we're not we're not we're not all the same people, man, you know, and um Hence why that's why you have a lot of you, you mean that's why you have a lot of people that they don't they don't give a damn about certain things, you know. They quick to sell out. They quick to uh, start conflicts and you know don't want to have unity this down the third. You know, it's because not everybody's from the same lot. You know, not everybody's from the same lot. And what we're gonna be looking at is, is President Obama today. We're gonna be looking at him and his background. So I want to start with this first. It says right here. It says Ham. You know, which was one of the. It says the youngest son of Noah, born probably 96 years before the flood, and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. So that's important. The progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes, but the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites. So this was um, from the Zondervan Dictionary. It's an old, old dictionary, and you see they show that distinction that Ham, you know, he was, he was, he was dark, you know, you know that that that's where the dark, the darker races come from. You know what I mean? Not the Negro. You know, we know that. Um, hold up. You know that uh, President Obama. This is his father, and his father was from um, Africa. You know, you know, even though you know Obama, he was he was born in Chicago. This then the third, they said Hawaii. That's what they say. But um, you know, his, his father was from Africa. So, and you know, we're gonna look at where his father, his lineage comes from, because everything goes back to the fa the father's seed. You know, your, your father's bloodline. In, in terms of uh, when we talk in biblical, you know, it goes back to your father's seed. You know, and we're going to take a look at that right quick. So Numbers 118. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. According to the name, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by the opposed. So it was according to the, um, the pedigrees of their fathers, man. That's how they selected the tribes. You know what I mean? You know, not that was it. It wasn't by your mother. It was, uh, it was according to your, 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 your father's, your, your father, who he was, where he come from, his lineage. You know, you know, and the fake Jews they like to, you know, say it's by your mother, but it's not. It's not by your mother. It's by the pedigrees of your of, of your father. You know. You know. When you look at um, you know, J Jacob. All, all, no, those tribes were named, named after women. The women, it was named after the men, you know, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Benjamin, you know, Issachar. All, all of them. It, it went after the um, the pedigrees of the father, you know. What I mean, not the not the mother, you know. So we're gonna keep going. So right here, Barack Obama Senior was born in 1936, um, Rotuno District. On the shores of Lake Victoria, just outside Kendu Bray, British Kenya, at the time a colony and pictorate of the British Empire, he was raised in the village of Nagomnya Koengalo. Butcher some of these stuff. Sire District, Nanzaya Province. His families are members from the Luo ethnic group. So you see what it says right here: the Luo ethnic group. That's where his his family is from, you know, that's where he descends from, the Luo tribe. So we're going to take a look at that. 
This is the Luo, uh, also called Julo, Jungani, Ongani, Singular Jualo, Jorongani, or Joramongani. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, meaning Rong, Romongi Harriers are a Neolithic ethnic group in western Kenya and the Mara region of northern Tanzania. They are part of a larger group of um, ethno linguistically related Luo's people who inhabit an area ranging from South Sudan, Southwestern Ethiopia, Northern and Western Eastern Uganda, Northeastern, um, this is uh, the Democratic of Congo, I believe that is, Southern, Western Kenya, and Northern Tanzania. So that's where the, these guys are from. You know or they reside, I say, the Luo, the Luo people. So right here in, uh, I guess in Kenya, you see where Luo and Kisili is, right there in the corner. You have a uh, that's little small portion right there on the left where it says Nazaya. That's where the Luo people reside. And you see the Ethiopian Tan Tanzania at the bottom. They, you know, also little subgroups in those areas that it, that's what we're saying Sudan and things like that. I mean, so they they come from a real small area, man. I mean, so this is the village that they were saying he was from. Um, Nagoma, Kogelo. It's only it's a population of about three thousand people, three thousand six hundred. You know, so that's where his father is from. You know I mean, and then that's in Kenya. I mean, so he's a Obama was a Hamite. <clears throat> you know. He's a Hamite. So right here you have um you know Obama's father again and this is his wife. Um or was his wife, I'm saying. Um and I, I believe yeah, this is a white woman. She was Jewish and I think uh President Obama he was mixed with uh Jewish ancestry too, you know what I mean? So you see why, you know, he got that tone. You know, because it, you know, it, it kind of balanced him out to where, you know, he lo he looked like, a, you know, a Negro, you know, but he, he's from, he, he descends from Ham, you know what I mean? It's like, remember what the Zondervan Dictionary says, it says, it says Ham was the, the darker progenitor, I mean, not the Negro, you know, you know. You know, I, wanna, I don't want to say there's nothing that's against the ha um, Hamites or nothing like that, you know. You know, because Moses had an Egyptian wife. The Moses approved of it. You know, I mean, she was, a, I believe she was a Kushite. I mean, Joseph had a, um, a Egyptian wife too, I believe. You know, this is more so to, you know, to show you, like, look, we got to be careful, man, sometimes, you know. And, you know, it's still, and there's a lot of Israelites in, in Africa, you know, more so West Africa. You know, you got the Limber tribe, you got the Yoruba. You know, but these guys from the Luo, they they're more east, you know. And um, you know, and, and like I was saying, you know, the enemy understands the table of nations, man. You yeah. know, and they'll have you excited over somebody, you know. And they know that that that, that person that they're picking is a devil, like Obama was, you know. And they study the table of nations. They don't just choose people like that, you know. You know, they, they study your ancestors, they study your background, you know, and that and a lot of these guys that that's predators, you know, they're, they're 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 interconnected, they're related, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, and with that said, we're going to keep going, you know, and uh, let's see. So right here, we're going to look at, you know. What these like Luo people look like, and you know what I'm doing it to just to show you like they're more heavily, you know, melanated people, man. You know, for that descend from Ham, you know. So right here you got you know two kids. Right here you see how much more heavily melanated these guys are, you know. See these are these are Hamites. You know, you see, you you get you could tell the difference, you know, and and you see, what I was trying to say, like, 
they lumped us all into one category, but you know, it was different bloodlines, different histories, you know. It's a difference between Shem and Ham, you know. Right here, Luo ethnic group. It's a difference, man. See, look how heavily melanated they are. You know? See, Hamites, man. You know? However, I mean, this necessarily doesn't mean nothing because when you look at Obama, he, he, he looks like he descends from Shem, you know? Now, this is Obama when he went to his village in Kenya. I mean, his, or to his father's village, his hometown, to see the people. And when you look at these people that he's with, they're heavenly, they're, they're heavily melanated. You see that? You know? And that's him, you know? You know, once again, him and his village, man. You know, but the, 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 the reason Obama looks like that is because because his mom was white, you know, so you see how they pass him off to you, you know, <laughs> you know, and people are yelling and screaming like, "Yay, no, Obama!" You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, these devils don't select anybody just at random, like I was saying, you know. And I, I want to say more than likely, yo, Obama was a, he, I want to say he's, he's a Canaanite, man. You know, and no, for anybody that's saying that all the Canaanites got exterminated, no, they didn't. You know, they did not get exterminated because when Christ came, there was still a Canaanite woman li um, living. Hold up, and we're going to take a look at that real quick. So Matthew 15, 22, it says right here, it said, And behold, a woman of Canaan came out. Of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy upon me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grieved, is um, was grievously vexed with the devil. And she was talking to Yahshua at the time, you know what I mean? You know, the Messiah, you know. So the, 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 the people of uh, the Canaanites were still alive, man. So right here, Genesis 28, verse 1, and it says, And Isaac called Jacob and blessed him and charged him and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan, you know. The, the daughters of Canaan, you know, and they would, they were telling them not to take the daughters of uh, Canaan because their customs and traditions were like heathenistic, man. I mean, it, it was, and they said it was nothing necessarily against the, the lineage of Ham because, like I said, the Most High allowed Moses to, uh, you know, marry a Cushite, you know, and he he actually struck Miriam with, with leprosy when she was speaking against that, you know. And like I said, Joseph married an Egyptian, you know. But the the the, the Canaanites, yo, know, they were like a like a heathenistic people, man. They they, they you know what I mean? So the, the, that's why you know Isaac was saying, yo, don't take one of the doors of Canaan because they you know they they want some other stuff, man. So, and I believe it was things like this. Hold up. So all this plate and lip and earrings and around the neck and all that stuff. This is stuff they were showing you in Black Panther, and ancestor worship, man. You know. That's that's not that's not that's not the customs and traditions of the Most High, man. You know, I, th these are probably the things what they were doing. You mean putting plate and lip to extend your lip? You know what I mean talking about that's more beautiful? I mean, I I I tell you, man, the Most High don't know how to please us. You know what I mean? What if He made us like that? We'll be complaining. <laughs> like why the Most High made me with a long lip like that, and everybody else is regular? You know, <laughs> so let's keep going. You know, these the, the, these are not. You know, customs are the, are the most highest people, man. He's not going to tell you to put no plate in your lip like that. You mean? <laughs> Unsanitary. Like, how you going to eat properly? You know, this is the kind of stuff they were doing. Don't don't, don't take no daughter of Canaan, man. You don't want no daughter from there. You know what I mean? This is what he was telling him. You know, and, and then when you read Josephus, it says, um, right, it says Jacob, he couldn't, he couldn't even stand the Canaanites. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't even want to walk through there. You know, to get to, uh, I think he was going somewhere at one point. And he didn't even want to walk through there, you know what I mean, through those people because they were, you know what I mean? 
They was just on some other stuff. You know? This is this is what it was talking about. You know? Now are all of them probably doing that today? No, they probably not. You know. But you know, this this is more than likely what he was talking about, man. You know, and I didn't see pictures of the uh, the little people doing things like this with plates in their lips, but you know, more more than likely, this is what he was talking about. You know, and, and you got to look at nation though. You know, like for example, like when you look at um, Asia, you have different subgroups in between. You have you know you have the, uh, the Japanese, you got the Chinese, you got the um, the Filipinos, you got the uh, Taiwanese people, you got Vietnamese. You know, North Korea, South Korea, you know, um, Filipino, I probably said that already, but, um, you know, it, it, all those, all those guys, they do different things, you know, you know, but they're all of one house, you know, so that's, I mean, that's how you got to look at it, man, you know. They had they got they got different uh, customs and traditions, but they're all of one house, you know, Mon Mon Mongols, you know. So this is it. So you see that Obama descends from Ham. You know what I mean? According to the pedigree of his father, you know that's where it go that's where it goes back to, you know. And like I said, you know these people they're not gonna put anybody in there. That's not like them. And yeah, Obama, he may be well-spoken, eloquent with his speech, you know, dresses nice. You, you know, he, he um, appears uh, like a friendly guy to the masses. But, you know, they, like I said, they don't, they don't, they don't, they're not choosing no random nigga to put in that office now. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, we all know too well not a lot of these guys are sellouts. You know that that they're that they're promoting in front of us. Anybody that's like, yo, real, the truth, they're not making it up there. You know, you know, and he he's gonna he's gonna be engaged in the same things that they they're engaged in. You know, and, you know, you know, and the, the, the devil was also an angel of light too. You know, he 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 he. They said he was beautiful, you know, and charming and well spoken and. Elegant and everybody loved him, you know. But he's yeah, yeah but he's he's a devil, you know. He, you know, he's he's a devil in disguise, man. You know, Satan. But yeah, you know, they're not choosing no 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 regular nigga to put up there. Like I said, you know, but you know. Like I said, you know, uh, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. You know what I'm saying? So it don't it don't really matter, you know, where you descend from, as long as you know you, you you turn away, you repent, you know, and you know turn back to the Most High. I just wanted to add that in there, but you know, I just wanted to show you too that hey, but careful, man. You know, because. You know, without these guys, you you, you know you, you you sit down here and you're cheering for them and things like that, and they're totally into some other stuff. I mean, ancestor worship and all that stuff, man. Ancestors they can't save us, you know. And I'm probably gonna do a video on that soon. You know. <laughs> so yeah, man. You know, this guy was, um, he was from Hap, and, you know, and, 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 like I, and like I said, you know, that's the thing that's killing us right now. Like, we don't, we don't understand the table of nations, and, and they do, they understand it, you know. That's why you saying, like, yo, why can't everybody come together? No, it, 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 it's people out there that look like me and you, man, you know what I mean? That don't want to see us come together, man. Why? Because of their bloodline. You know, they understand. You know, they understand the power of the Most High. They understand where their lot is going to be. I mean, I mean, 
once we come back together. You know, it's a bloodline thing, man. It's, you know, it's a history thing. You know, you got to test the spirit. You know, everybody, oh, yeah, black unity, black this, you know what I mean? Yeah, I thought, I, I, like I said, I, I once I thought, like, yo, let, I mean, we got to stick together. But you uh, you start studying the Bible, you start studying the table of nations, you, you start to understand Psalms 83. You see, uh, there's a lot of crafty counsel going on out here, man. You know, a lot of crafty counsel, you know. C come, let them cut them off from being a nation is what this says, man. You know, oh man, so yeah, that's it, man.